Hi Aquarius, welcome to your annual forecast for 2019. I'm so sorry for the delay and the, you know, for the late uploading of your video. The moment we arrive here, we've been so busy and of course we have to celebrate the new year, so we've been so busy with the cleaning and stuff and the rearranging of the, you know, of the house and uh, we got some parts being renovated at this point, so um, this is just a temporary setup, okay? Anyway, so let's take a look. It's going to be coming your way, okay? Hmm. By the way, the content of my video, The Cheetah Mobile, uh, The Daily Horoscope, it will be available on January 10th, okay? All right, let's take a look. January, what's going to be coming your way? Um, I need to set up my my camera, my mic, and, and everything else, and I don't have a table yet, so it's just like a temporary thing. Mm hmm. Actually, it's cold weather, but uh, it's really hot here. Even though supposedly it is cold right now. Alright. Looks like Aquarius. The month of January for you will be a little bit busy. Although you need to be a little bit more careful with some people who's more of a party pooper, okay? Uh, someone will try to put you in a bad limelight, especially if you're trying to work on a promotion or if you're trying to work on a new opportunity, okay? Now, there will be some people who's not going to be very happy with the progress that you're making and doing with your life, so don't expect that everyone will be very happy with your performance and, <clears throat> you know, the new things that's been going on in your life at this moment because... Some of them just want to see you go down, all right? And some people are just pretending that they are happy, but, you know, inside of them, the moment you turn your back onto them, they are not really, you know, they're backstabbing you, they are saying a lot of ha nasty things, and especially relatives. I feel like this year there will be a lot of family issues, relative fights, arguments, Oh, and the inheritance battles as well. And finally, for your sex life, which everyone is kind of a little bit, you know. Also, people are kind of uh, skeptical about it because they, they're saying that I am not dating anyone, I'm going to have a sex life, yada, yada, yada. So if it actually doesn't resonate with you, check out your moon rising. <laughs> Mary the Aquarians, you need to reignite the fire in your relationship. Definitely, you need to do something. You know, uh, your sex life is already waving the flag of SOS. Okay. And let's take a look more. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm currently in Asia right now, in my home country, and I just need to attend some family stuff, and then I'll be on my Asia trip for my lecture and workshop 
for life direction, past life, healing and regression. Also for those who want to learn more about, you know, um, clairvoyance and tarot reading. Uh, everything is not yet, um, you know, um, laid out, but um, definitely I will be making an announcement later on. I don't want to say anything in advance right now because, you know, it something just keeps on coming up and then the schedule keeps on bumping and bumping and bumping and I don't want someone to say again that why do I need to say things in advance when it's not yet ready or when it's not yet there, okay? So I will just make an announcement once it's ready. Okay. Now, the month of January for you, Aquarius, you'll be very busy uh, traveling. Okay, one is for pleasure or for family visits or family visitation, and one is for work related. Now you will try and do your best to be, you know, to, to be um to be at the top performance or to be at the top of your caliber because you want to get an opportunity, a position, a job or like a slot that you've been working on and working hard for the past few months. And your boss is definitely noticing your effort, your performance, your your diligence and uh, your perseverance. But right before everything takes place and happens, somebody which is an air sign that is, you know, this is just a little bit older than you or it's just same age. Who will try to steal something like a file or, or some backlog or some mistakes that you have done in the past which is stored in your computer or there's a file or there's, you know, it's like you have done something in the past that you've, you've tried to resolve it, okay, but then um, it was re already resolved that you did not really erase that evidence, okay, so now that person will be coming across, which is, I can't be too, um, too, um, what do you call this, too specific about how they can get it, but definitely it is much better for you to watch your back, clean up everything, you know, from the past, especially if you know that it's going to push you into something like a, like a danger or a little jeopardize your work, just try to clean it up, okay? Now, normally in the office, they all have their servers, so if you have a correspondence right across uh, someone or you have sent a, uh, a correspondence to somebody and uh, about the document or about the thing or mistake that you have done in the past, it definitely will be coming across that server, okay? Now, somebody from the past, which is a water, sorry, which is a fire sign, will also be coming back into your life. This person used to be your world, and this person used to mean the world to you. And I feel like this person wants you to work things out, but then you need to be a little bit more careful. It did not really work out in the past. Why would it work out now? Now. When it comes to your work life, as I've said, that you will be doing your best, you will be, you know, you'll be very happy with how things will be turning out. And I feel like you'll be indulging a little bit, but not so much, okay? Be careful with the person, I'm oh, sorry, with the people that you trust around you, especially if they appear very close or, you know, it's like they wanted to trust them, they're being overly friendly, but nosy at the same time. Don't try to raise your walls. But make sure that you will be setting some boundaries. Don't say anything confidential to anybody at this point because everyone around you, you know, especially around your department or team or work, you're all competing against one opportunity. Okay, well, actually, there are two opportunities, but they want the opportunity that you're trying to chase at this point. Um, you, all, you will also feel alone. Okay, are lonely and sad, and not miserable, but you, it's like, why is, you know, it's like you will be questioning, why is it that some people can't be happy with your choice, or can't be happy with whatever they have, why do they have to ruin the things that other people are working hard for, okay, that you will continuously doing your craft, in fact, that you will be enrolling in a training or seminar or conference or exhibition, 
by the end of the month or the last week of this month and you will definitely be rejoicing okay you will be coming out on top no matter what happens just try to avoid any arguments any confrontations and unnecessary fights now love life it seems like for those who are not yet married but you've been living together for quite some time you've already reached up the point of questioning your relationship or you will be questioning yourself whether this should go to the next level like marriage you will also learn that your partner is pregnant or if you're an aquarius woman you will be uh, you will find out that the second week of this month you're already pregnant okay there is also some legal contracts and there are some you know there are some legal stuff that you need to settle especially for those who's trying to finalize a child support from your ex now there you know it will come right through the middle of the month there will also be some changes around your house at this point either you're going to be relocating or you're going to get your house renovated or there is something that needs to be repaired majorly so prepare your budget for that now um you will also be very happy with the changes that you're kind of making but you know at the end of the day you're wishing that and hoping that your family or some people around you that you expect to be happy for you to at least see this and appreciate whatever you have been doing to your life to improve and progress okay now sex life as I've said, okay, those who's already coupled or already in a committed relationship, try to try to find a way on how to reignite your passion because definitely your sex life is already waving the flag of SOS. Okay, um, it's not that you're. It, I mean, it's not that you don't love each other anymore, but. It's your past emotions, the past pain and problems and miseries that's been getting in the way. That's why the two of you are having a hard time getting it on. Okay? Or when the other person is in the mood, the other person keeps on rejecting the other. Which is, that's, that's really a big no-no in a relationship. Um, the problem with long-term relationships is that you feel like you can say no when you want to. Or when you feel like you know when you feel like you know your pars you know your partner so well and they should know you too then you know there goes the uh, too much familiarity and uh, confidence that they are, that they would understand but we all have our own feelings and we all have our own needs and this is what you needed to know this is what you needed to understand Okay, um, some Aquarians will also have a hard time even doing it themselves because their mind is still preoccupied by a lot of things, okay? Now, and you will also have a hard time getting it up because of the stress. Health-wise, it seems like you're going to be doing well this month except that you're going to be a little bit vain. Okay, you'll be very conscious of how you look like. Some appearance will also be changing their hair, their hair color, their hairstyle, or there is something that they really want to change in their exterior, you know, in their exterior because they want to have more changes coming into their lives. But you're very conscious of whatever that's on the outside, but you also need to be a little bit more conscious and reflect upon and whatever that's on the inside. And this is the reason why it's been affecting your love life at the same time, or your marriage or your relationship. For women, be careful with ulcers, um, stomach-related problems, digestive problems, um, lower abdomen problems, and heartburn. Okay? Um, you will also be craving for sweets and sandwiches. Or for ice cream sandwiches or for something sweet this month okay right after that um, be careful and avoid those let's say derm products or some some medicine over-the-counter that you will just read on the internet because you might have some you might develop some allergy 
okay, or some side effects that you're not even aware that it is possible to happen or take place. Let's take a look at your forecast singles quickly before we proceed to your February month. And then I will be pulling out your um, your um, oracle cards later on at the end of the uh, reading. Okay. are very problematic about money at this point. You don't know where to get the money that you needed for a certain obligation or for a uh, for something that you've been very very concerned about at this point. And uh, you just need to learn how to balance. Okay, um, this is not really the time for you to splurge. There's money coming in, but then you are also kind of a little bit worried about how things are going to go for the rest of the month. Now, there is an earth sign person that will be coming your way a little bit older than you. Somebody who had caused a lot of heartbreaks to you in the past, and this person will definitely be coming back into your life and will try to make a grand entry, okay? There will be a lot of communications, back and forth, correspondences, explanations as well, you know, why this, why that, because you also have a lot of questions why this person suddenly just vanished into thin air and nothing, no explanations right after how many months and how many years, and now this person just suddenly popped out of nowhere and uh, thinking whatever they have done in the past is okay. So, um, just try to give this person a chance to be heard, and if you feel like it's not really worth it, you know, to start all over again, then just give them a closure that they need. It. There is something that you need to learn right before you cut off this person, all right? Let's proceed to your February forecast. It seems like there will be a sudden shift or there will be like an unexpected change that's going to be taking place when it comes to your work, okay? Um, um, I feel like there will be an argument that's going to be happening to you between you and this air sign and you will just be reaching up the end of your string and you're just going to throw the hats off, okay? Meaning that you're going to be quitting because you just didn't really take it anymore. This person is just way too much taking a toll on you and you feel like if, you know, if this person's not going to quit, then I will quit. If that happens, then you're the one who's going to be the loser. This person, the reason why they're provoking you is because that is exactly 
what they want you to do. And you're going to be giving it. Okay? So try to think long and hard about your decision right before you say something. Otherwise, just walk away. Okay? You don't really have to quit or you don't really have to be mad at the same time. Because you know that this person is only trying to push you and trying to pull your leg, you know? Yeah, how strong you are and what are you going to be doing? So, just let them. Um, I feel like this person will try to bully you. Okay, it's like you're going to be trying to have more excitement in your relationship, but then your partner is not going to be that excited anymore or not going to be thrilled because you need to watch your back when it comes to your relationship because you're going to be discovering sad truth or you're going to be noticing some red flags that your partner has been doing right behind you. Okay. Okay. Now the month of February for you will be a little bit more hectic stressful, depressive, eh, well, there will be two things at the same time that will be happening in your life. One is that, mm -hmm, the one that you've been working so hard, okay, I mean, the thing that you've been doing around your work, everyone is appreciating it. And like what I said, not all people will be very happy with your performance and with the progress that's been happening going on in your life. Okay? And this is exactly what's going to happen. There will be an altercation or there will be like a, like a, like a big argument that's going to happen and that's going to come in between you and this air sign that will be bullying you and you just couldn't really take it anymore. It's not that you're going to be emotional about stuff but you it's like you can't really take it anymore and you just don't want to be around this person anymore so don't walk away okay it's okay for you to take a few steps back okay because you know that this person is only trying to provoke you so that you will be losing the opportunity but don't quit okay um So it's actually going to be hard in your place because this person will be saying a lot of nasty things. And not to mention that there will be some stuff from the past that they will also be bringing up again. And it will be very hard for you to, 
you know, to be a little bit more, uh, what do you call this, to be a little bit more, um, um, to be a little bit more patient, okay? Now, mm -mm -mm. and you will be traveling. All right, well, on the other side, there's someone who's a fire sign that will be making your day, that will be recreating the world with you, and you're going to be very happy with how things are going to be turning out, okay? You will start falling in love again for those who's already single or just uh, got separated from their spouses or from their partners, and now love is about to come your way, and you will be traveling along, along with this person, but... Right in the third week of this month, it's not yet, you know, it's not yet even one month. And the things from the past will start dawning into you and you will start remembering them. You, you will feel the hurt again and you will somehow remember, you know, how this person have made you so miserable in the past. Now, despite of that, you will be coming into an agreement and you'll be coming into some sort of, um, you know, like a, like a settlement, okay, that this is what we should do, this is what we should adjust. You hurt me this way, it takes to the tango, you also, I, I also hurt you that way. So let's change that and let's stop bringing up the past, okay? Even though you're going to be very stubborn still about it, but you will try your best because, you know, right, right after all this time, right after all, right after all these years or months, despite of you trying to move on from this person, it's been really hard for you forgetting about this person until now, you know. You know how this person have this huge impact into your presence and into your heart. So, you're going to be giving this person another chance. Now, for those who's already married, it seems like communication needs to be worked on between the two of you. You're holding back, your partner is also holding back, so what's going to happen to you? You're not really talking, both of you are also pretending that everything is okay, but it's not. Deep on the inside, deep inside of both of you, you are not really ready for any big step or for any big break, okay? There is a certain decision that your partner is trying to make and you're, you don't really agree on it. While you're trying to express your, you know, while you're trying to express your, um, um, what do you call this, like um, your opinion, okay, that you don't really agree with their decision, your partner's not really listening to you. So it's like, fine, you know, I'm not going to get in between her. Don't consult me, again, with your decision, if, that, if, if you're just going to go ahead and listen to yourself only. So that's the reason why your sex life is also being affected at this moment. Now, when it comes to your work, you will be regretting that harsh decision that you're going to be making, but... Don't worry, okay, because the management will not really listen to you. They're just going to tell you, you know what, just go home, walk it off. You can take a few days off if you want, or you can take a, uh, like an emergency holiday. We're going to give you the break that you need it, and then when you come back, let's talk again, okay? You feel very stressed out because this person has been bullying you, and you've been trying to greet your teeth and trying to, you know, clench your jaw so that you won't be losing your temper, but this person will be pushing you so much this month, and it's not just once, but twice, okay? Um, I don't see yet that this person will be, will be getting fired or that they will be quitting, but the management will try to move you far away from each other so that this, um fight or this argument won't happen or won't take place again. Meanwhile, you will be very busy with the training seminars and exercises that you're going to be um, joining, and I feel like your colleagues will be welcoming you back once you report back to your work, okay? You will also be put in a new department or new office, and then instead of this person feeling a little bit, well, they've been a little bit happy when you were gone and when you took a break. But then they are not going to be very happy because it's like the management will be airing and will be, you know, expressing their um, their appreciation to you. Okay, even though it's not yet official, you will be moved into a new department position 
area, office, or, you know, or, or team, rather. Now, when it comes to your love life, you've been trying to work out a new relationship, you've been trying to work out, I mean, sorry, you've been trying to work things out, and you've been trying to work on your issues, the communication gaps, and everything else, and especially the sex, but... It seems like this partner of yours will be caught messing around with somebody from the past. Okay? Be careful and confronting because you already have a lot of bad days and have a lot of bad times and, you know, stress when it comes to your work. And then when you get home or within the first two weeks of this month of February and you will be confronting your, your partner, then expect that there will be some more heated arguments. Okay, there's a heartbreak that you're going to be tendering and that you're going to be feeling or experiencing at the third week of this month. And then you will try to fix yourself. Okay, it's like, it's like you're not going to give up yet, but you will try to, you know, you will try to fix yourself up. Well, on your own. Now, sex life. Sex life, you will be suggesting some new stuff with your partner, but then your partner, you feel like, you know, they're not being cooperative, they're not being enthusiastic, and they're not really playing their part. It is because that you will be stumbling upon a, um, like a strange text message, or like a strange message, or something more like an evidence around your partner's stuff, either in their car, or in their laptop phone, or whatsoever. And that is where everything is going to be starting as an argument, okay? This person is seeing someone who is taller than you, big brown curly hair. Um, if it's a guy, then they have full facial hair. If it's a woman, then they are short-haired but big round curly brown hair, okay? Otherwise, they are kind of... Um, uh, coloring their hair as well and it's a fire sign the one that your partner is seeing with at this point okay now when it comes to your health you need to have some seafood diet or you need to go for some white meat diet okay lower your intake of protein or lower your intake of red meat as well be careful with wild animals stick around with the organic stuff when you're um, having sex with somebody, make sure that you are, you know, it's like there is a problem with hygiene. That's why your partner is feeling a little bit icky. And uh, you, all, as, as I've said, don't just reflect on whatever that's on the outside. Try to reflect what's on the inside, okay? And you will soon be growing and learning a lot of things, and you will also be changing some of your habits and some of your... Let's say, well, clothing as well. And you also need to stop smoking for those who are smoking because you will be noticing some, some gum cancers. Or you will just suddenly notice that your teeth are slowly falling. It's because, it's, uh, you know, it's too much smoking. Let's take a look, singles, what's going to be coming your way this month of February. The Six of Wands. Well, yeah, like what I said, there is somebody from the past that you will be giving a break or that you will be giving a chance back into your life, but then you will be having a lot of reservations, okay? You need to move on from the past because you're so afraid that what if this person is lying to you again or what if you're making the wrong decision, okay? Um, I feel like you need to confront once and for all what is it that's been bothering you instead of acting this way and spoiling the moment, okay? Because in the end, this person really have, let's say, 
real intention to really make it through, to really make it work with you, but you're the one who will be full of doubts and negativity. So try to dump it, okay? And say it out loud, whatever that's inside of you, whatever that's been bothering you. And who knows if the two of you can actually work things out, okay? Instead of fighting and battling through your feelings. And it's just time for you to move on from the past, okay? Whatever that has been, uh, like, eating you up. Right, so you're gonna have a great time with this person. Just try to forget about what's in the past and just try to move on from the past. Right, let's take a look at your month sorry, at your March forecast. Okay, now for the month of March, let's take a look. Well, for the month of March, it seems like, um, well, the, the last end of the month will be a little bit difficult for you, as I can see. It's, uh, um, your work will be a little bit more progressive. You will learn how to be a little bit more patient as well. And you will be avoiding that bully, although I don't really see that person getting fired for some reason. But you will learn how to walk away and choose your own fight. Okay? But when it comes to your relationship and when it comes to your personal life, there is somebody either you're going to be walking away from or will be walking away from you. Let's take a look later on in your love life. Also, for those who are trying to sell off their properties or trying to sell a house or more of a major, uh, major possession, you will be getting your sale this month. Or you will be getting a very good negotiation or price with somebody who is very interested. You're going to be making money this month. Let's shuffle again. I did not cut. Like someone is messing around with someone who is more like the boss figure. Mm -hmm. Someone is getting weak. 
No, you're going to know who's the third party in your relationship, and you're going to be walking away from me. Okay, now in the month of March for you, there, you know, the much-awaited thing and uh, the much-awaited um, announcement, okay, will be done in the first two weeks of this month. However, when it comes to your personal relationship or when it comes to your personal life, this is where you're, you know, you're going to be broken into pieces and you're going to be very disappointed because of how things are going going and instead of you like um you know like uh, saying it out loud and saying it out loud that you got a promotion you got the job or you got an opportunity or the project whatever it is um you'll be discovering something great okay so this is the month where you're walking away from somebody or from a situation problem or relationship or from someone okay there will be a change of situation change of well change of um, circumstances that you are going to have a hard time putting your head on okay so i guess it's right that when you know when your career is on when your career is soaring up high then your love life is on fire you just need to take a little break Okay, um, and you need to have a little breather, which is I feel like your management will be um, giving you another quick break for a week. Now, when it comes to your work and finances, first, if you are trying to sell off a major property, then definitely you will be making money this month. As somebody who is very keen and somebody who, who already met you around two to three months ago from this month of March, will be making a very good offer and you'll feel like, okay, fine, you know, it's not bad. So you're going to be signing, the, you're going to be getting the deal, signing the contract, and you're going to be letting go of this. Now, from the darkness, you will finally be seeing the light that finally things are slowly moving up. And you are going to notice to yourself that you are getting more and more better, you know, with your chosen field. And you're going to be very happy with how people are reciprocating your effort, your performance. You're going to be hearing a lot of congratulations and tapping on your shoulder. You know, it's like, if, you know, when it comes to your career, you're going to be very happy, contented. And it's like all of your hard works for the past year, it will definitely pay off, you know, for the first quarter of the year. But, of course, when it comes to your relationship and when it comes to your personal life, this is where the misery comes in. Now, when it comes to your love life, you will have a hard time making a decision. Is it time to go? Is it time to leave? Is it time to walk away? Or is it time to just, you know, take a break and uh, when I come back, maybe we can settle this back. Okay, we can try to work it out. Your partner will definitely be, will definitely be feeling guilty, but instead of them admitting their mistakes or admitting whatever they've done in the past they're going to be making it appear that you're the one who pushed me to do this you're the one who pushed me to to commit to this so instead of apologizing that is what you're going to be hearing from them and that is what will be changing your mind your feelings your emotions and you will also feel a little bit shut down or feeling a little bit like in the dark now whatever happens don't let this painful situation take the best of you okay Learn how to balance, and definitely you will get out of this, okay? You will get through this. Um, okay, when it comes to your sex life, you will also be discovering who is the third person in your relationship, and you will also be, like, getting enough evidence for you to finally see the truth that it's been going on for quite some time already. That's why your bed is as cold as ice for how many months or even years, okay? 
and definitely you're the one who's going to be putting a stop or you're the one who's going to be cutting off this whole nonsense. Now, when it comes to this, when it comes to your health, um, I feel like you, it's your immune system that will be, that will be hit or that will be very affected because of your stress. And you also need to go back to your normal routine, like, uh, you know, taking a jog in the morning, get sweating it out and um, lifting a bit of weight and, uh, you know, going back to your healthy diet and uh, instead of binging into junk food. Also be careful with parasites and um, unsanitized salads, okay? Let's take a look, singles, what's going to be coming your way? You know, since uh, that this is actually the uh, the beginning of the year, um, uh, I just remember that one particular comment in my channel before about somebody saying that my hands are chubby. <laughs> I know I need to get over that thing, but uh, every time I look at my videos and I see my hands, it's like I keep on telling myself that my hands are not chubby. <laughs> I know. Anyway, and happy new year to the person. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I'm not, upset. I'm not upset. Sorry, I'm not upset, but I just can't really forget about that. I just can't move on from that. <laughs> and I know I need to move on from that. Okay, Aquarius. Um, okay. There is a like a very good news that's going to be coming your way, okay, especially when it comes to money. For those who are struggling financially and for those who's trying to make it through and trying to, you know, make ends meet, this is the month where there will be a brand new beginning, brand new hope financially, you know, and uh, if you're also looking for a job or looking for a new opportunity or you want to change your career or your field this is also a very good month for you to make those changes because definitely you're going to be getting it okay if you're also thinking whether you're going to be passing the school the exams or you're going to be accepted in the university for the next season or for the next uh, enrollment yes definitely it's a yes financial stability is coming your way but be careful with your choice when it comes to your love life, okay? The, the previous month of February, somebody came somebody came back into your life and you gave that person a chance. I'm not seeing any any bad signs or bad cards for the person who came back into your life. But then this, you know, when it comes to your finances, everything is going up. Everything's good news. But just be a little bit more cautious with your love life and choices in being with somebody. Let's take a look at your April forecast. All right. Oh, and by the way, for those who are actually asking where I'm from, I'm from the Philippines. Okay. So there you go. Because a lot of people are very keen and very, um, they're very curious where I came from. So there.
All right. I love life. Oh, your month of April seems a bit okay, except right in the middle of the month there will be some disappointments, but then, you know, I feel like the rest of the well, month will be very good for you. Well, uh, single Aquarians, don't go out with somebody at work. Okay? Be very careful about it. Especially if that person is already married. And a fire sign. You will have to pick yourself up into several pieces right after that, uh, you know, frenzy. That person is only looking for one thing, and you already know what it is. Well, not unless that you also want to play games. Just don't fall in love. You need to be a little bit more playful. You've already forgotten how it is to be um, not really a child, but to be young at heart, okay? Your responsibilities have already eaten you up, and this is also the reason why you've already lost your zest and you've already lost that, you know, that interest in having that pleasure. I mean, who doesn't want sex? Obviously, all of this, but it's like for you, you're too stressed out. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to exert much effort. Mm. Now. Some Aquarius women, they're going to be uh, giving birth during this month. You're going to be very happy. It's going to be a boy. Oh, and some, um, some Aquarius, whether you're a man or a woman, you can have uh, quintuplets in the seventh month, seventh month of this year. If your delivery will be falling into that um, month, which is July. Now, mm -hmm. now this time, you know, you're going to be running away to your family. Sorry. Yeah. You're going to be running away to your relatives, your family. You're going to find some, you know, some comfort, advices, opinions as well. But then it's like, instead of them helping you out, whatever they're going to be expressing as an opinion will not really help you out. So it's just going to add up more stress to you. So you will end up leaving early. And you will start wondering and counting, where are your friends? You know, it's like right after all this time, you've all been lost all those people that you used to count on and you used to cry on during those times that you really needed them. But then all of you are very busy with your own lives. So you're going to start phoning those people that you used to know. And then you will be meeting with two of your closest friends, which are water and fire. Okay. And you will definitely be, um, hearing okay not the things that you want to hear but definitely the truth and more of an eye-opening situation that you've been longing to 
uh, you know, that you've been longing to really hear and like the advice or the help that you've been looking for. When it comes to your work, again, you will be um, decluttering. Oh, it's time for you to clean up your old files as well. You know, it's time for you to uh, delete it and clean up your computers and uh, don't keep too much of an information. You can also try and back it up, but don't try to store it, you know, for far too long inside your computer. And I feel like this is the start where you will be attending like a team building exercise seminars trainings um yeah and then you're gonna be doing fine you're gonna be performing well when it comes to your work but then it's your love life and it's your personal life that will be taking a toll on you especially that you'll be invited into a wedding okay by somebody that's close to you and this will just remind you more of your situation so try not to self-pity and try not to express too much of your sour gravy, okay? Also, you will be giving some of the old stuff of your partner to the charity. So definitely you're going to be kicking out this person. Now, again, oh, and then you're also going to be participating in some volunteering program, okay, for you to keep yourself busy. Now, when it comes to your love life, you will be focusing your your attention to your children if you have one or you will be paying attention to your relatives younger relatives okay so that you won't keep on thinking about the pain and the hurt that you're going through because you really need some sort of a diversion otherwise it's just gonna you know make you crazy the fire sign that will be visiting you it's like you will try to find it in your heart to forgive, but you're not yet ready, okay? And there will be some settlements, there will be some communications, and there will be some stuff that you need to sit down and talk to and, uh, you know, agree upon, but you're not yet ready for that. So your partner will be a little bit insensitive, but they also want to ask forgiveness from you. It's just that they don't know how. Now, when it comes to your sex life, um, I feel like you are going to try and, um, study or try to go back into that part, okay? Like, uh, trying to enthrall your mind and trying to reignite the fire in you. And I feel like there is somebody around you or around your workplace who's going to be very attracted to you. Just try to avoid this person once and for all. Okay, this is just a tease, or this is just a temporary thing, especially if this person is already married. Uh-uh, don't get, don't get to that just for you to get even with your ex, or just to get even with your partner, because you might just regret it later on. Now, health-wise, you're doing well, and you're also trying to cut some Aquarius who's been smoking. You will also try to cut down your smoking, and you will also try to cut down your, some of your vices. You know, whether you're smoking the normal cigarette or the um, the, the vape thing. Um, I feel like it's just time for you to really quit it. You know, to quit it once and for all. It's not that easy to cut it off, but you can try little by little. You'll also be feeling a little bit nauseous and um, blurry vision. I feel like you'll also be very, you're going to be very sensitive to noise, smell. Or scent of a particular strong uh, strong food or strong perfume something like that and it is just gonna give you a migraine and will just make your stomach upset okay some Aquarian women will also be giving birth and delivering during this time or some of the Aquarius men you will know and you will have a very good news that you will have a baby or that your baby will be delivered during this month okay Aside from that, your immune system is still something that you need to work on because your colds, your flu, and your cough will be still present and will still be, um, you know, bothering you, all right? Now, let's take a look at your forecast symbols before we proceed to your month of May. Now, 
let's take a look at your April forecast for singles. You'll be enjoying shopping this month and it seems like there is a brand new foundation that you're going to be making and starting it's just that you will be confused a little bit whether it's uh, the right thing to do or it's already the right timing for you to invest into something even though it's just a small thing okay here yeah, even though it's just a small business Well, mm -hmm. there's also somebody that, will, that you will be letting go, or somebody will be letting you go at this point. Mm -mm. Now, anyway, when it comes to your finances, you will be shopping more of your personal stuff and personal, you know, materials and uh, personal things during this month. And I feel like you will also be treating some of your relatives or your partner or your friend, sorry, not your partner, but your friends or somebody that you're very close with, okay? However, there are some, despite of your success or your financial success, career success, uh, there are some things that will be, you know, not, not, that's not really going to work out in your favor or that's not going to be in your favor, okay? Especially that that person that you gave a chance and all of a sudden things have changed and shifted and you thought that everything's been doing well and right before you know it, it's only like a dream, okay? So, hey, you already know this, you know, that this is what's going to happen, but then, you know, charge the experience, water under the bridge, and you will learn how to move on, okay, when it comes to this person. So, let's take a look at your May forecast. This actually flipped out okay good news about money okay that will definitely take you to a new height of glory to a new height of success or there is an inheritance that you will be getting soon or like the insurance claim the government refund it's a huge amount of money whatever it is or in whichever form it is there is a financial success that's going to be coming your way first thing this month of May. Okay, let's shuffle again. Because I think I did not really um, cut it properly. Okay. Uh, you're going to be making a bad decision when it comes to your work or when it comes to your work.
place at this moment and there will be some bad feedbacks that you're going to be getting especially from the management okay they will also be expressing their disappointment because you are not really paying attention or you're being a little bit neglectful about your responsibilities don't let your personal stuff get in the way of your work and success okay Oh, and uh, just to address that one comment that I have read, uh, someone said that where are the uh, the rest of the signs or where are the rest of the readings? Um, and because I did this because of the season that's upcoming. Actually, it's not. The reason why I did all the uh, this thing, this um, the, the forecast in advance last October, is because um, you know we'll be traveling. You know, we'll be very busy. But then, like what I said, it, something just keeps on coming up and the schedule just keeps on bumping and bumping and bumping. So it's already out of my hands, okay? I've been so busy traveling and I do, you know, I, um, I've had a um, coaching and healing session, which I will be releasing the uh, testimonial video later on right after all this. So yeah, that's the reason why everything got delayed, okay? I'm pretty sure I'm not, you know, I'm not the only one who had gone through, you know, depression during New Year, delays, obstacles, and a lot of things. Um, most of the people that I've been hearing from, they're also complaining of the same. So I feel like it's the moon shift. You know, Aquarius, there's actually a water sign that's been waiting for you for a long period of time. It's just that you are too proud to admit that this is actually the right one for you. Okay? You are looking too far ahead in a different direction or in a wrong direction. Whereas there are a lot of things that you have to heed and that you have to pay attention to. Alright? You've already made a lot of turns, well, wrong turns. And a lot of wrong decisions in the past, and it's time for you to rectify it. Now, month of May. Uh, finances, I can still see things are getting good, slowly getting up, working things up. But you will be, you're still feeling alone. You're still feeling sad. You're trying to be happy despite of all the ordeals that you're going through. In spite of the things that's been happening to you, you don't even know if you're being cursed or if you're, you know, when it comes to your love life, I'm not saying when it comes to your career. Your career is very blessed this year. It will continuously flow that like this until the end of the year. But then the thing here is when it comes to your relatives, to your love life, there are a lot of things that you will be discovering. There are a lot of things that you will be, you know, that's still going to cut you through and like, for example, this middle of the month of May, that you are going to be hearing more, okay? And instead of you healing your broken heart, it will just bring more pain from the past. It will just bring more painful memories. And you are just lying to yourself, you know, that this is not really affecting you, that you don't really care about this. There's actually one person who cares more a lot about you, and you just need to go and find that person. Okay, that's been waiting for you. This is your real soulmate, and this is the real one for you. Okay, especially for those Aquarius single, or somebody, or Aquarius that just recently got separated, divorced, or they just uh, broke up with their partners. Okay, now when it comes to your work life, it seems like 
Things will be doing well for the first two weeks of the month. But then for the third and last week, there is a sudden decision that you're going to be making and that you're going to be a little bit unsure that it's, you know, I mean, you will be following your instinct that it's supposed to work out, but then someone will be sabotaging it. That's why it will fail you. And it will have a huge impact into your performance and to the uh, to the management, their impression. Okay, so be very careful with the decision that you're going to be making this month, and don't be too negligent. Okay. Now, when it comes to your love life, as I've said, your your heart is still flowing, despite of the you know despite of the times so and despite of the distance. That the two of you have been keeping and the two of you have been like, you know, um, living apart. Your heart for each other and your emotions, your love, it's still overflowing, okay? There is somebody from the past that you feel like this is the one that you should have been ending up with. But then some, you know, some inevitable situation, decisions, circumstances, and decisions, that, that is, you know, that is actually what separated you in the first place. But now there will be a moment for you to rejoice because finally the two of you will be reuniting and this person has been waiting for you for such a long period of time. Either it's three months, three years, or three weeks, you know, or three, or it could be 30 years, or 30 months. And... It seems like there are a lot of things that had already gotten in the way, especially your fear. Okay, so you need to step up and you need to, to start kicking out those swords that's been imprisoning you, you and this person preventing you from being together. And it's time for you to reach out. Okay, time is already ticking for the two of you. Sex life, it seems like you're going to be a little bit more aggressive and will be trying it with somebody that is very attracted to you. And you're going to be giving in to the temptation. Okay, it will be fun at the beginning. You're going to like how things are actually going and moving, but then the bitterness will start sinking in and the reality will also be, um, you know, it will kind of bite you in the end, by the end of this month, because you will also know, realize, discover, and, you know, it's like you're going to be, um, somebody will be telling you information that this person is also messing around with some other people as well. So that's just going to be a big turn off for you. Health wise, I feel like, as I've said, be careful with the one that you're having sex with. And for women, you're going to have a painful sex, sexual intercourse. Okay. And you also need to be a little bit more careful. And, you know, if before you are doing it 10 times or you're, you know, you're having the uh, delivery for like 10 times, try to minimize it a little bit because especially if you're getting old, okay? And then by the way, it's not a myth. Some people do have that kind of delivery, you know, and fireworks. And aside from that, you need to nurture yourself. Some Aquarius women will also be bearing a child during this month and you'll be very happy. And you will also learn that, um, oh, that you have talent in gardening and planting. Again, you need to uh, strengthen your, uh, your immune system because your cough, colds, and um, some minor fever will still be uh, biting you, okay? And it will still be getting into you. Let's take a look at your uh, single forecast.
the hermit, I'm feeling so lonely and sad. About this fireside person that you really want to be with. Unfortunately, there are a lot of things that's been getting in the way, okay? Battling, bickering, bantering, change of situation. Again, feeling a little bit defensive. You need to talk. You need to forget about the past. Not the tip, you will be reconnecting. But then there will be some lies that needs to be uncovered and it needs to be, you know, that needs, sorry, that needs to come to light. Sorry. And your emotions or your love for each other will be winning in the end. So there will be a brand new beginning. Okay, so don't worry about it. You will be recollecting your uh, your past, but then you will also be tossing those that are not really necessary to be in your present. Okay, so let's take a look at your June forecast. And now we're in the month of June. <coughs> So let's take a look. Sorry about that. I'm recording from my phone. <laughs> um, okay, let me just put it in silent. I'm sorry. This card keeps on coming up, you know. I just want to bring this up to you. Don't try to sneak around with someone, okay? Otherwise, you might just pay the price later on. An air sign person will be playing around your heart, with your mind, with your finances as well, physical aspect, will try to seduce you, that this person is a different agenda, so be very careful, okay?
Okay. Um, this month of June, it seems like you're gonna be very serious, and um, you are gonna be missing in action when it comes to your friends' gatherings or events. That some people will be phoning you and will be, you know, asking how you've been, how you are, and if you're okay, because you're gonna be out of the loop again. Um, there will also be some letter from if you're expecting, okay. There will be some letter from the government, bank, um, legal stuff, lawyer, or court thing, and definitely it will be in your favor, okay? You will still be thinking about this person that is far from you, or that, you, that is living far from you, or that you are far from. And, you know, the betrayal that has taken place in the past, it, you know, it's going to be like um, hitting you again, you're going to start remembering this whole thing, and... You know, you're going to try and change some of the things that you get used to, but then this person that you already cut off from your uh, from your life, whether it's an air sign or a, or a fire sign, who lied to you right after all these years that you've been together, and finally you will be reuniting or reaching out to somebody from the past who is a water sign. Meanwhile, in, in your workplace... You are going to be a little bit adamant about attending a very important event, okay, that you're going to be um, invited to. Uh, it's, it's from a um, higher superior or higher management or a person who wants to see you at their very special event. And um, as much as possible, this is also the, the month where you don't want to socialize or you don't want to be surrounded by a lot of people that you don't even know, okay? But then you have to get along, you have to choose, you know, on, you have to choose an attending, otherwise it's just going to have a huge impact with this person impression towards you. And like what I said, that there will still be some ups and downs the third week of this month when it comes to your work, but then you will be making it through, okay, because you love whatever you do, you're going to, you're going to be putting your best foot in and you're going to be, um, it's like right after the storm, you're going to be finally seeing the light, okay? And... Hmm. Now... Hmm. When it comes to your love life, you will be traveling and there will be a brand new beginning that you will be initiating in your life and you will also be offering your friendship, okay, not just your cup of love, but your friendship to this person who is either an earth sign or a water sign and you're going to be moving away from this air sign who just um, tear your heart apart, okay, and there will be a brand new beginning. There will be a uh, like a success or victory, and you will still continuously battle with your feelings, your heartbreak, and your pain and your fears. But in the midst of that, someone will be healing you, and someone will be giving you a lot more strength. You know more than you ever think. When it comes to your sex life, as I've said, be very careful in playing fire with somebody that you don't want to get serious with. Otherwise, this person would just frame you up and would just try to blackmail you. If you just want to have fun, have fun, but don't get involved with anybody seriously. And um, I feel like you are also going to be more in the mood, okay, with um, with someone that you're going to be seen with in the third week of this month, which is either it's a fire or a water sign. Okay, yeah, or an earth sign, or it could be that they, you know, this person have all these elements in their chart, but it's like something inside of you just want to get back at the person who, who broke your heart, okay? But because of your health, you need to do a little bit more of an exercising, and you also need to take care of yourself, especially, uh, you know, try to... Um, well, try to take a bath every day because, you know, when you're depressed, some people, when they're depressed, they don't want to take a bath. They don't want to be clean. 
they're just gonna, you know, like wear the same clothes every day over and over again, even though they're already starting to smell. So right now, this month, you are gonna be more conscious of how you look like, how you appear in front of other people. Some Aquarius men will also start shaving because you have grown your beard fully, and now it's time for you to um, be more out there, okay? Also, be very careful with some unhygienic food and um, some parasites, okay? Especially for those um, preserved food or or some food that you can, um, uh, some food that's already canned. Not really the microbial thing, but it's already canned, okay? I feel like you're going to be a little bit icky and uh, you're going to find it a little bit gross. So be very careful with whatever you eat and there is also a food lifestyle that you need to turn your back into especially eating junk food let's take a look singles what's going to be coming your way this month of june well at least that there will be some progress that you're going to be making that right after being a hermit for how many weeks or months you are finally be going out and uh, meeting new friends, old acquaintances. You're going to be a little bit absent with those people who knows what happened to you because you don't want to keep on hearing those, how are you, are you okay, and stuff. You just want to get over it. Okay, single Aquarius, you are going to have <clears throat> two options. Looks like an earth sign person will be breaking your heart or you'll, you know, will be uh, failing you or will be disappointing you. But then you're going to start turning into this fire sign person or fire sign woman, okay? Hmm... But then you're, you don't really like this fire sign person too much. Um, I feel like you're not going to be feeling heartbroken with this earth sign person if you don't have real feelings in a way. But then things will start shining in and um, there will be some clarity that the two of you will be you know, knowing and reaching. And there will be communications by the end of the month that the two of you will be initiating and uh, if feel like one of you wants to walk away and one of you just wants to take a break. So it's up to you how you're going to be dealing with these things. Okay. Let's take a look at your July forecast. Mm-hmm. Still moving on. Still walking away. Feeling reserved. Heartbroken. Financially happy and established. Changes that are coming your way. You just need to learn how to, you know, light it up a bit. I'm going to be feeling a little bit relaxed this month. Um, I don't really feel like, oh, your family will be celebrating for a, uh, like a surprise. Or something that they will find it surprising. Uh, for those of who are happily married. Uh, 
<clears throat> July for you, you're going to be a little bit evasive to some other people as you try to walk away from a very painful situation, okay? You're going to be full of reservation and there's still some Aquarius who tried to or who's, uh, you know, who has a pending divorce thing. It will be finalized this month. As there will be a uh, court order, or there will be a letter from the judge or a letter from the, you know, from your lawyer that will be telling you that finally you're free. Even though this is a very painful realization that right after all these years, you know, you've tried to fight for this relationship to make it work, but then it, you know, it just ended up like this. So, um, the changes that's going to be coming your way, it is good and bad at the same time, but you're going to make it through, okay? Now, when it comes to your work life, you're not going to be very, you're not going to, you're not going to be that very busy. But still, the person who's been trying to bully you, which is an air sign, will still try and keep on pounding and, uh, oh, discovering war and digging up more of your secrets and files. And I don't feel like this person will be coming up into, or will be stumbling into anything that they can use against you but they are going to be figuring out something that is more personal, okay? And I feel like this person will be blackmailing you, and then you will be asking for a uh, for the help of some friends or with the help of your superiors. And even though, let's take a look if this person will finally be retiring. Uh, no. Not yet. No. So, yeah. Anyway. Still a long way to go for this person, you know. Anyway, just try to get along with it and just try to avoid any altercation with this person because it's not really worth it. Love life. You are starting to grow some deeper feelings for this waterside person that you feel like this is the right one for you or this is your soulmate. Okay, changes are coming in, you're starting to see more light and starting to feel more happiness, healing, warmth, and it's like this person has been brought into your life for a, um, you know, the right time, for the right reason, and the new beginning, you really want this person into your life. You want to walk away from that painful situation that you've been into. And actually, you will also realize that it's not your heart that's bleeding. It's your ego. 
okay? But still, you're going to be hearing from this person, especially if you just recently got divorced or separated from an air sign. And this person will still be making some demands. And it's time for you to put your foot down. And it's time for you to create some boundaries. Sex life. You're going to be spending most of your time alone. Although there will be some tempestuous moments, but then you will just choose to you know, to do it on your own or to just leave it off. Most of your imagination will be very active. And I feel like right at the third and fourth week, you're going to end up seeing someone who's going to be pleasuring you more than you can imagine, which is a younger earth sign. Now, be careful with parasites, as I've said, when it comes to your health. <clears throat> Women, check out your breasts, your stomach, your digestive system, lower abdomen, and start noticing about the, uh, you know, the amount of hair that you've been losing, because you're going to be shedding. And I feel like you're going to be a little bit extra vain. Some women will be opting for an extension, even though it's a little bit expensive, but you're going to be uh, going for it. Your immune system, and you're going to be like... Um, getting involved with more healthy regime and uh, active in losing weight, okay, or getting back into shape. Be careful with wild animals, especially if you have a, um, especially if you have a pet that is a reptile, be very careful. And food lifestyle that you need to turn your back into and be careful in driving at night because you're going to be feeling a little bit woozy and uh, nauseous, okay, plus you will be a little bit sensitive to light. Let's take a look at your um, forecast for this month of singles. Changes are coming, good news, here and there. Well, the fire sign will be walking away from you. But then there is somebody, which is a water sign that will be coming back into your life. That even though the two of you will just keep on arguing and fighting, this is where the new beginning will start shaping. Okay, You will learn how to take care of your sorry of each other take care of your relationship and i feel like you will be a little bit more transparent about what you really feel towards each other okay good news coming your way when it comes to your health when it comes for singles when it comes to your especially for those aquarius single women who's been a little bit afraid if they are pregnant or not so there will be good news and um Hmm. There will be some closure that you will also be receiving, a person who's going to be forgiving you, and a person who's going to be paying you back, plus uh, like an unexpected money that's going to be, that you will be receiving in the form of check or postal mail, okay? So, let's take a look, finally, at your month of August. Okay, now for the continuation of your August forecast. You know, I have tried recording this video for how many times already? 
and I've been having a lot of issues. Okay, so okay now I hope that there's all of these sound this time. Okay, now for your August forecast, let's take a look. All right. Well, your month of August, Aquarius, seems like it's going to be a little bit um, financially a little bit rewarding, but you will be moving down by the end of the month, okay, for some more changes. So, yeah. And you will also be busy, you know, during this time when it comes to your work, and I feel like you will be paying a visit to some of your friends or to some of your old work colleagues, there will also be, like, an extra course or extra training that you want to take. Um, it is related to your job because you want to improve and increase your, you know, your learning skills, but I feel like at this point, you need to be a little bit more focused. What is it that you really want? Okay, you're looking for more changes, you feel like you already know your job so well, you know, all the responsibilities like at the back of your hand and you're looking for more challenges this time. Okay, as for your sex life, let's take a look. Mm. Lastly, for your lastly for your um health. Mm hmm. Some skin problems. All right, and don't be exposed to chemicals. Now, in the month of August for you, it will be more of a mixed bag, okay? There is something that you will be starting, something that you're looking forward to, it will flourish. Finances will be very light and breezy, okay? So you don't really have to worry about your finances during at this point or during at this month. But if you're about to sign a contract or if you're about to finalize something that is related to legal government documentations, or, you know, some court cases or something like that. Because, you know, definitely it will be in your favor. But I feel like you need to review all the, you know, all the 
stipulated points and uh, you need to be very clear about what you don't want and what you want otherwise you will just uh, skip this part and uh, you won't be able to go back to it later on when you try to think that oh, okay you know i kind of missed that now there is also a fire sign and an air sign which is more likely libra that will be getting in touch with you during at this point and this people are they're kind of related to um to you in the past and i feel like there will be some communications here and there but then it's not really going to be very fruitful is i don't see any i don't see any um willingness okay or openness from you because you feel like that nah, i don't want anybody from the past as i just want to completely move on you will feel a little bit stuck in your life right now and your life seems like for you it's been stagnating and what can you do you know to get it moving and free to pump it up you will also be um moving to a new place or a new house or there will be some relocation or renovation that's going to be happening in your place right around the last week of this month and you will be wishing for more changes new beginnings and new transformation pulling out the clarification you just want to simply move on forget about everything okay forget about the whole thing whatever happened to you all those bad things all those nightmares you just want to simply you know get out of it and step out of it right now now when it comes to your work you'll be feeling a little bit relaxed okay i don't feel like you will be stressed out during at this point but you will be looking for more ways and how to expand how to you know how to like um what do you call this like how to really expand yourself either you want to invest or you want to uh, shift your career or you want to change altogether you know when it comes to your finances and career but i feel like you just want to simply invest right now now you will also be going for some brainstorming right at the third week of this month and you will be needed by your bosses or by your immediate superiors for you to put in your effort your focus on a new project that you will be launching and that you will be making which will be starting around uh the end of this uh, sorry the last month of this year 2019 okay now you will be reviewing some of your old notes some of the um you know old stuff that you have because it is pretty much related to that there is something that you're going to be rebuilding relaunching remaking reproducing or whatever it is okay it, it has something to do with an old work or past project that did not really take place or that did not really push through but now your management wants to reinvent that thing you know whatever it is this month and you're going to be like um in charge of it because you're the one who uh who put out this idea and now they're kind of looking back yeah you know that idea is actually good so why don't we just why don't we just try and recreate it this time you know that is more appropriate at this time and right before this project begins you want to um treat yourself like going for a spa or massage and um i feel like you also want to see some of your friends as well so it's not going to be a very busy month for you this uh this month or sorry it's not going to be a very busy time for you this month when it comes to your career or to your work but you will be looking for more expansion you will be attending a small training or seminars or you know something to expand your skills and your uh, your knowledge love life there has been a um like a defeat okay, that happened to you this water sign woman that you have a lot of feelings for like overflowing feelings and you feel like this person you used to mean the world to me and you never you've never been happy you've tried to find other happiness you've tried to move on you've tried to find whatever that suits for you you know it could be somebody that can replace this person altogether but then this person or this particular sign just keeps on you know just keeps on lingering in your mind and you know to yourself that there is like an unfinished business between the two of you 
okay? So even though you're having a hard time, like, uh, should I, should I, should I not, or should I just let it go? You know, why is this person always in my mind? Why is it that you're always in my dreams? Everywhere I see, everywhere I look, everywhere I go, people who come to me, it's like there's always a sign of you. Now, there will be a reconciliation. Your souls will be conjoined together again by the end of this month. And I feel like you will also be f like trying to fight your feelings that ah, I don't want to deal with that person anymore. That person have hurt me, betrayed me, let me down, cost me a lot of disappointments. And I don't want to go back to the path anymore. And exactly that is the reason why the two of you have separated and you've never had any closure. But this time, I feel like it's time for you to look into a deeper perspective and give this person a chance. Now, sex life. You're going to be a little bit experimental. For those who's already married, there will be a lot of methods, ways, and styles that you will be experimenting, doing, and making. And I feel like you will be improving your oral style, okay, and mm, satisfying your partner. But some Aquarian men will have a problem getting it up. Okay, one is because of your uh, prostate problems, and second, it's because of your stress and depression. And I feel like it's much better for you to go and talk with the doctor, you know, about the underlying problem down there, especially with the supply of blood in the air. Health. I don't see any major problem. You know, like a major disease that you're going to be going through, except for some slight immune system problems. And uh, you're going to be very affected with your uh, simple cough, cold, and flu. And yeah, of course, some bronchial problems or some breathing problems like asthma. And uh, aside from that, you just need to move away from those people who's been smoking and polluting your air, the, you know, the air that you breathe. Women, you will continuously have some problems with your ovaries. Um, uh, abnormal breathing, heart palpitations, and upper abdomen, ribs, no, right rib cage, you know, whatever organ that's inside it, and some left shoulder injury. Uh, you will also be a little bit extra vain in looking more into your skin or to your outer complexion. Heartburn, um, I don't know why my guy said cholera, but uh, yeah. And uh, foot poisoning, um, swelling of your feet, having a hard time walking, and nausea. Okay. Let's take a look, singles. What's going to be coming your way this month of August? You know, I'm almost done with this sign. And then when I played it again, there's no sound. You know, it's really annoying that when you've been, like, putting your all and working your hard effort and stuff like that into something. And all of a sudden, you'll just discover it, you know, like it's gone. No. Mm -mm -mm. Let's take a look, singles. You know, just to address that one comment that I saw in my channel, I really, really, really appreciate you watching, subscribing, and sharing my channel. But, you know, for you to demand that I have to make, you know, separate videos for the married ones, for the single ones, and blah, 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 blah. You know, I am trying my best to deliver the general forecast because my time is also very hectic and little, okay? That's why I just want to accommodate all of you, general, you know, in all general aspect. I mean, single, married, available, and whatever it is. So, 
if you don't want to listen to the married ones because just because you're single just skip it okay there's actually a timeline you just need to look into the uh, the right panel you can see it there and i really don't have the time to separate all the videos i'm so sorry editing already takes time cutting the videos and uh, you know enhancing the sound and everything else Yeah. Because I'm just trying to do my best, okay, to deliver the forecast as early as I can and as, you know, as much as I can. All right? So I hope that's not too much. Anyway, facing somebody who's a Libra and someone who is very much available and uh, with a, you know, with a budding career or promising career, and this time, you feel like, oh my god, I am so lucky that I will be facing and dating this person. But then again, you know, you have to get to know this person better. You have to get to know this person first before making your own judgment. And before saying that, yeah, you know, that's the guy for me or that's a person for me. Because this person, you need to be very careful that I feel like there will be some, you know, either this person is psychotic, narcissist, or pretender, you know. They're very good looking, okay? Whether it's a man or a woman. They're very good looking, charming, magnetic personality, um, high standards. And I feel like they're, you know, their career is also good. But there's something wrong with their mental state, okay? Either they're too obsessive, possessive they're narcissistic or they're a psychopath or something like that just try and observe don't get into a relationship don't take them into your house just to have sex if you want to have sex just do it outside and you have to get to know someone first before taking them into your private place or before taking them into your place because that is going to be your safe haven okay now um also don't be too generous there are times that you're going to go out that at first this person will try to pay for your bills and then later on your second, third, fourth, fifth date, you're the one who's going to be paying for your dates or you're the one who's going to be paying out for all of your bills. Just because that this person feels they are very entitled into escaping their responsibilities and them, you know, feeling like chivalry is already dead, you know. So if this person is already showing some red flag signs at the second, uh, at the second time that you're, go, that you're going to go on a date, cut it off okay don't wait for it to work out it's never gonna work out all right even though you know single aquarians you're gonna be looking for some more love more care more people more potential and more relationship don't be in a hurry the right person and the right people will be coming into you it's just that this month not this person all right now let's take a look at your september forecast Mm. Oh my goodness. This year for you is not really that favorable, Aquarius. I know that some Aquarius have already gone through a lot of hard times and difficult times last 2018. But I feel like that energy is still going to be bridging down to this year. Have some faith, okay? Nothing is permanent. Reflecting in yourself, indulging, being happy, gathering, studying working um 
daydreaming, setting your goals, being happy, fulfilled, achieving, helping out, reaching out, balancing, and <clears throat> being generous. Um, you know, Aquarius, it seems like you are really, you know, this whole personal stuff, especially for those who will be going through some rough patches or some, well, let, let's just put it this way. Those severe, uh, those, Virgos, those Aquarius who will be going through some divorces, it's going to be a little bit messier. Okay. It's not just in terms of your work. It's not just in terms of your finances, but you know, also related to your mental state. The depression will be eating you up even though you're trying or you will try to get by or the, even if you will try to forget about the whole thing and move on from it. It's going to sink in. It's going to take some time for you to really forgive and forget. All right, and there goes the... Oh, by the way, my videos will be available in Cheetah Mobile. Just download the, um, you know, that link or that app, which you will find the link in the description box. Mm, oh, la la. Being into it. Mm. You know, some Aquarius, your sex life is really waving their flag. Save me, save me. Some marriage of Aquarians are already crying for help. If you're going through some counseling and it's not really working, then it's time for you to look into some other method. Okay? I just feel like you need to reignite your passion and revisit your past and how did you really, st you know, start it out in the past. Let's say, for example, offer a second honeymoon or just try to remember how the TV really started out before everything else gets too late. All right, now, mm. the month of September for you is something that you've been waiting for. You feel like you're getting a little bit impatient. You have tried your best to, you know, to think about all the consequences and weigh down all your options. And you feel like if ever that you're still going to be going through with this and if ever that you're going to, like, um, continue with this, you feel like you're just going to be weathering the storm alone. So it's much better for you to move on. It's much better for you to take on a different path, especially when it comes to your marriage or especially when it comes to that stagnating relationship. You'll be wishing for more. However, with your ambitiousness, there will be more waste than gain, okay? That instead of you forgiving and trying it all over again, you will decide to take a different path because you're going to think that, oh, okay, you know, maybe who knows that I'll be meeting somebody that's much better. But unfortunately, it's going to take four years for you to find really what is, you know, the right kind of love. Okay, I'm not saying that all Aquarius will be going through with this, but some, okay. And financially, I feel like you need to conserve a little bit of your budget because this is not really the right time for you to splurge, go for shopping, or buy anything that is not really necessary at this point. Work-wise, you will be reflecting upon yourself, even though there will be a lot of achievements, success, recommendations, referrals, and uh, recognition that you're going to be gaining. You feel like there's something more, okay? Something that you feel like is not really there. You feel like something is missing. It's like, you know, like there's something that's missing in the picture. Like, it's almost perfect. You know, there's something that you want to add to find, and that is what you're going to be looking for this month of September when it comes to your professional life. 
okay you will also be helped out by a fire and a water sign to track down to your new path or journey or assignment or yeah definitely like that our new area and you're going to be a little bit uh, generous as well you will be helping out a pregnant colleague that is already having a hard time with their responsibilities at work and in fact that you're going to be volunteering to take over for them now love life which as i've already told you you're already having a lot of hard times you're trying to hold back hold on let go move on and then hold back again okay it's like damn if you do damn if you don't you want it's like um you want to proceed forgive and try it once again but you know that it's never going to be the same again right after all the things that happened okay you're still considering the fact that there is a possibility but then you're also weighing the options that it will never gonna be the same again okay now you will try to go and search for yourself to go and look for whatever that is missing you will be balancing things out you'll be talking to this fire sign and then there will be a lot of things that you will be renewing realizing and reassessing and at the end of this month you will love the decision that you're going to be making whatever it is when it comes to your sex life outdoor experiences you're going to be more active well for especially for those who's already married or already in a committed relationship you will be trying your best but um you know for those who's already been together for like how many years to like less than 10 years or less than 20 years it's time for you to go and review those books and manuals otherwise it's also much better for you to go and travel and for you to you know for you to go and find something that will both satisfy you but whatever happens don't offer any third wheel a third person in their relationship because it's never going to be healthy your your sex life just requires more attention loving and passion because both of you are emotionally voided and blocked and you've been denying the hurt the feelings and the rejection that you've already incurred for how many years because you are too familiar and uh, you know you're too uh, comfortable with each other all right now when it comes to your health don't don't go for like over-the-counter or non-regulated medications especially if you've been having some problems with your acne or any uh, skin allergies or skin problems and um, immune system you need to reignite that you just go for something natural and organic also you need to detoxify okay in order for you to flush all those toxins that's been affecting your your mind and affecting your uh, your body and your blood you will also get infected by somebody who uh, who has a um, like a present illness or disease and it could be passed on to whatever you're eating or whatever you're going to be sharing with this person so be careful with strangers that you hardly know or that you know that you feel like a little bit different that there's something wrong with them you will also start gaining weight and some Aquarian women will be giving birth to during at this time let's take a look singles what's going to be coming your way this month of September You need to balance. <laughs> Single Aquarians, it seems like your loneliness and your sadness will finally be putting to an end because this water sign, who is actually your soulmate, will finally be, you know, uh, get reunited with you and the two of you will be 
Um, and the two of you will be, um, you know, uh, rearranging things, forgiving about whatever happened in the past. You are the one who's got a lot of issues and baggages from this person. And this person have already forgiven you, asking for your forgiveness, starting all over again, second chance, new opportunity, new beginning. But you're the one who keeps on bringing up the past. It's time for you to live it to the past, okay? A new change, new beginning, abundance, happiness, and possibility of marriage or engagement. That will be happening with this person who's a water sign, okay? Who still loves you with all their heart, and they're also going to be professing their feelings and even, you know, a proposal to marry you. Good for you. Let's take a look at your October forecast. You know, a lot of people are experiencing some depression or feeling down or feeling a little bit frustrated or the things that they wanted to have and do, it's not really coming or working out their way because, you know, this is still the tale of the dog year. Now, right after February 5th, that, that is where all the shift and development will, you know, start coming in and will start arising so just be a little bit more patient you're not the only one who's going through some depression and feeling so down and delays and blockages okay it will soon pass and some people are you know if you you will also be noticing that some people will be acting a little bit ridiculous that is like out of the norm now let's take a look. Well, this month of October for you, it seems like, wow, the middle of the month, you're going to be going through a big transition because you will be falling in love again, especially for those who just broke up and got recently divorced or those who are single. Now, for those who's already married or still in a committed relationship, there will be a reigniting of your passion, relationship, marriage, or, you know, affection for each other. Just be very careful not to leave things untold as there will be some secrets that will be revealed by the end of the month and it will just cause more friction, tension, and fire between you and your loved one. Now, you also need to be a little bit more careful in taking some untested medicines or medications or you know, going over the counter and uh, self-medicating because there is a possibility of you taking the wrong medicine for your, you know, for whatever it is that you're going through uh, physically or medically. Okay. And as I'm Aquarius, just be very careful, you know, to be forced in something that you don't want to do. Especially when it comes to sex, or especially when it comes to sexual harassment. Okay, be very careful about that. And you also need to be a little bit more guarded, especially if you are still dating. Um, there will also be some issues about sexual harassment at work, okay? So just be very careful about this, this month of October. Now...
Okay. Now, now this month of October for you. Um. Okay. It seems like there will be some obligations, or there will be some finances, bills, loans that you need to settle, especially if there has been some problems with the mortgage or a reassessing of your, you know, your loans or outstanding debit, sorry, outstanding credits in the bank. You will get, you will get it settled, but I feel like you will be needing some guarantee or guarantor or something like that, a protection of uh, other people just to save you up from, uh, you know, being overcharged. And finally, you will be moving from one phase to another, okay? Even though that there will be some financial problems, financial troubles, it's, which is very slight, okay, very minimal. You will be able to move on from this, you'll be able to resolve this, and there will be good news. Plus, a big transitional phase that you will be going through financially, emotionally, physically, and mentally, okay, right in the middle of the month, which is... Of course, you know, when you go for transition, it's only going to be very hard at the beginning because of the adjustment phase. But at the fourth week, you will be enlightened why these things actually happened and why these things took place, you know, in the first place. And you will be very happy because of the decision that you've done, that you have made. And you, you know, it's like for you, this is the best decision that you've already made. Even though you still have feelings for that person, you know, it, it's 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 not going to go away in an overnight. But you know to yourself that you've made the right decision, you've made the, the, the right turn. And with this person that's going to be coming into your life or that is already in your life around this month, this is the perfect moment for you. And this is the one that you've been waiting for, okay? For you to be happy. This is your soulmate. Or this is your twin flame. And this is somebody from the past that you've been trying to avoid for how many years, how many times, how many months, how many days. And you tried to cut off this person. You tried to marry off somebody. You tried to be with someone. But still, you know, right after how many years, that love is still there. When you still feel the pain, when you still feel that, you know, this person is like, ah, oh, you know, this person just broke up with me all of a sudden and uh, cheated on me and stuff like that. If that feeling is still there, it means that the love still remains. Okay? Now, work-wise, it seems like you're going to be very busy with this whole new project. And I feel like you will also be transferring to a new department or to a new team. Okay, now for the continuation of your August forecast. You know, I have tried recording this video for how many times already? And I've been having a lot of issues. Okay, so... Okay, now... I hope that there's already sound this time. Okay, now for your August forecast, let's take a look. All right. Well, your month of August, Aquarius, seems like it's going to be a little bit um, financially a little bit rewarding, but you will be moving down by the end of the month, okay?
okay for some more changes. So, yeah. And you will also be busy, you know, during this time it comes to your work. And I feel like you will be paying a visit to some of your friends or to some of your old work colleagues. There will also be like an extra course or extra training that you want to take. Um, it is related to your job because you want to improve and increase your, you know, your learning skills. But I feel like at this point, you need to be a little bit more focused. What is it that you really want? Okay, you're looking for more changes. You feel like you already know your job so well, you know, all the responsibilities like at the back of your hand. And you're looking for more challenges this time. Okay, as for your sex life, let's take a look. Mm. Lastly, for your lastly for your um health. Mm hmm. Some skin problems. All right, and don't be exposed to chemicals. Now, in the month of August for you, it will be more of a mixed bag, okay? There is something that you will be starting, something that you're looking forward to, it will flourish. Finances will be very light and breezy, okay? So you don't really have to worry about your finances during at this point or during at this month. But if you're about to sign a contract or if you're about to finalize something that is related to legal government documentations or you know some court cases or something like that because you know definitely it will be in your favor but i feel like you need to review all the you know all the stipulated points and uh, you need to be very clear about what you don't want and what you want otherwise you will just uh, skip this part and uh, you won't be able to go back to it later on when you try to think that oh, okay you know i kind of missed that now there is also a fire sign and an air sign which is more likely Libra that will be getting in touch with you during at this point and those people are they're kind of related to um to you in the past and I feel like there will be some communications here and there but then it's not really gonna be very fruitful. Is I don't see any I don't see any um willingness, okay, or openness from you because you feel like nah I don't want anybody from the past as I just want to completely move on. You will feel a little bit stuck in your life right now and your life seems like for you it's been stagnating and what can you do you know to get it moving and for you to pump it up you will also be um moving to a new place or a new house or there will be some relocation or renovation that's going to be happening in your place right around the last week of this month and you will be wishing for more changes new beginnings and new transformation pulling out the clarification you just want to simply move on, forget about everything, okay? Forget about the whole thing, whatever happened to you, all those bad things, all those nightmares. You just want to simply, you know, get out of it and step out of it, all right? Now, now, 
Now, when it comes to your work, you'll be feeling a little bit relaxed, okay? I don't feel like you will be stressed out during at this point, but you will be looking for more ways on how to expand, how to, you know, how to, like, um, what do you call this? Like, how to really expand yourself. Either you want to invest or you want to uh, shift your career or you want to change altogether, you know, when it comes to your finances and career. But I feel like you just want to simply invest right now. Now, you will also be going for some brainstorming right at the third week of this month and you will be needed by your bosses or by your immediate superiors for you to put in your effort, your focus on a new project that you will be launching and that you will be making, which will be starting around uh, the end of this, uh, sorry, the last month of this year, 2019, okay? Now, you will be reviewing some of your old notes, some of the, um, you know, old stuff that you have because it is pretty much related to that. There is something that you're going to be rebuilding, relaunching, remaking, reproducing, or whatever it is, okay? It, it has something to do with an old work or past project that did not really take place or that did not really push through. But now your management wants to reinvent that thing, you know, whatever it is, this month, and you're going to be, like, um, in charge of it because you're the one who... Uh, who put out this idea and now they're kind of looking back yeah you know that idea is actually good so why don't we just why don't we just try and recreate it this time you know that is more appropriate at this time and right before this project begins you want to um treat yourself like going for a spa or massage and um i feel like you also want to see some of your friends as well so it's not going to be a very busy month for you this uh, this month, or sorry, it's not going to be a very busy time for you this month when it comes to your career or to your work, but you will be looking for more expansion, you will be attending a small training or seminars, or, you know, something to expand your skills and your, uh, your knowledge. Love life. There has been a, um, like a defeat okay, that happened to you. This water sign woman that you have a lot of feelings for like overflowing feelings and you feel like this person you used to mean the world to me and you never you've never been happy you've tried to find other happiness you've tried to move on you've tried to find whatever that suits for you you know it could be somebody that can replace this person altogether but then this person or this particular sign just keeps on you know just keeps on lingering in your mind and you know to yourself that there is like an unfinished business between the two of you okay so even though you're having a hard time like uh should i should i should i not or should i just let it go you know why is this person always in my mind why is it that you're always in my dreams everywhere i see everywhere i look everywhere i go people who come to me it's like there's always a sign of you now, there will be a reconciliation. Your souls will be conjoined together again by the end of this month. And I feel like you will also be f like trying to fight your feelings that I don't want to deal with that person anymore. That person have hurted me, betrayed me, let me down, cost me a lot of disappointments. And I don't want to go back and to the path anymore and exactly that is the reason why the two of you have separated and you've never had any closure but this time i feel like it's time for you to look into a deeper perspective and give this person a chance now sex life you're going to be a little bit experimental for those who's already married there will be a lot of methods ways and styles that you will be experimenting doing and making and i feel like you will be improving your oral style okay and satisfying your partner but some Aquarian men will have a problem getting it up okay one is because of your uh, prostate problems and second it's because of your stress and depression and I feel like it's much better for you to go and talk with the doctor you know about the underlying problem down there especially with the supply of blood in the air health I don't see any major problem, 
you know, like a major disease that you're going to be going through, except for some slight immune system problems, and uh, you're going to be very affected with your uh, simple cough, cold, and flu, and yeah, of course, some bronchial problems or some breathing problems like asthma. And uh, aside from that, you just need to move away from those people who's been smoking, polluting your air, you know, the air that you breathe. Women, you will continuously have some problems with your ovaries, um, uh, abnormal breathing, heart palpitations, and upper abdomen, ribs, no, right rib cage, you know, whatever organ that's inside it, and some left shoulder injury. Uh, you will also be a little bit extra vain in looking more into your skin or to your outer complexion. Heartburn. Um, I don't know why my guy said cholera, but uh, yeah. And uh, foot poisoning. Um, swelling of your feet. Having a hard time walking. And nausea. Okay. Let's take a look, singles, what's going to be coming your way this month of August. You know, I'm almost done with this sign, and then when I played it again, there's no sound. You know, it's really annoying that when you've been, like, putting your all and working your hard effort and stuff like that into something, and all of a sudden, you'll just discover it. Like it's gone. No. Mm -mm -mm. Let's take a look, singles. You know, just to address that one comment that I saw in my channel, I really, really, really appreciate you watching, subscribing, and sharing my channel. But, you know, for you to demand that I have to make, you know, separate videos for the married ones, for the single ones, and blah, 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 blah. You know, I am trying my best to deliver the general forecast because my time is also very hectic and little. Okay, that's why I just want to accommodate all of you, general, you know, in all general aspect. I mean, single, married, available, and whatever it is. So, if you don't want to listen to the married ones because just because you're single, just skip it. Okay, there's actually a timeline. You just need to look into the uh, the right panel. You can see it there. And I really don't have. The time to separate all the videos i'm so sorry editing already takes time cutting the videos and uh, you know enhancing the sound and everything else now because i'm just trying to do my best okay to deliver the forecast as early as i can and as you know as much as i can all right so i hope that's not too much Anyway, facing somebody who is a Libra and someone who is very much available and uh, with a, you know, with a budding career or promising career, and this time you feel like, oh my God, I am so lucky that I will be facing and dating this person. But then again, you know, you have to get to know this person better. You have to get to know this person first before making your own judgment and before saying that, yeah, you know, that's the guy for me or that's a person for me. Because this person, you need to be very careful that I feel like there will be some, you know, either this person is psychotic, narcissist, or pretender, you know. They're very good looking, okay? Whether it's a man or a woman, they're very good looking, charming, magnetic personality. Um, high standards, and I feel like their, you know, their career is also good, but there's something wrong with their mental state, okay? Either they're too obsessive, possessive, 
they're narcissistic or they're a psychopath or something like that. Just try and observe. Don't get into a relationship. Don't take them into your house just to have sex. If you want to have sex, just do it outside. And you have to get to know someone first before taking them into your private place or before taking them into your place because that is going to be your safe haven. Okay? Now, um, also don't be too generous. There are times that you're going to go out that at first this person will try to pay for your bills and then later on your second, third, fourth, fifth date, you're the one who's going to be paying for your dates or you're the one who's going to be paying out for all of your bills. Just because that this person feels they are very entitled into escaping their responsibilities and them, you know, feeling like chivalry is already dead, you know. So if this person is already showing some red flag signs at the second, uh, at the second time that you're, go, that you're going to go on a date, cut it off okay don't wait for it to work out it's never gonna work out all right even though you know single aquarians you're gonna be looking for some more love more care more people more potential and more relationship don't be in a hurry the right person and the right people will be coming into you it's just that this month not this person all right now let's take a look at your september forecast Mm. Oh my goodness. This year for you is not really that favorable, Aquarius. I know that some Aquarius have already gone through a lot of hard times and difficult times last 2018. But I feel like that energy is still going to be bridging down to this year. Have some faith, okay? Nothing is permanent. Reflecting in yourself, indulging, being happy, gathering, studying working, um, <clears throat> daydreaming, setting your goals, being happy, fulfilled, achieving, helping out, reaching out, balancing, and <clears throat> being generous. Um... You know, Aquarius, it seems like you are really, you know, this whole personal stuff, especially for those who will be going through some rough patches or some, well, let, let's just put it this way. Those, uh, those, Virgos, those Aquarius who will be going through some divorces, it's going to be a little bit messier. Okay, it's not just in terms of your work, it's not just in terms of your finances, but you know, also related to your mental state. The depression will be eating you up even though you're trying or you will try to get by or the, even if you will try to forget about the whole thing and move on from it. It's going to sink in. It's going to take some time for you to really forgive and forget. All right, and there goes the...
Oh, by the way, my videos will be available in Cheetah Mobile. Just download the, um, you know, that link or that app, which you will find the link in the description box. Mm, oh, la la. Being into it. You know, some Aquarius, your sex life is really waving their flag. Save me, save me. Some marriage of Aquarians are already crying for help. If you're going through some counseling and it's not really working, then it's time for you to look into some other method, okay? I just feel like you need to reignite your passion and revisit your past and how did you really, st you know, start it out in the past. Let's say, for example, offer a second honeymoon or just try to remember how the TV really started out before everything else gets too late. All right, now, mm. the month of September for you is something that you've been waiting for. You feel like you're getting a little bit impatient. You have tried your best to, you know, to think about all the consequences and weigh down all your options. And you feel like if ever that you're still going to be going through with this, and if ever that you're going to, like, um, continue with this, you feel like you're just going to be weathering the storm alone. So it's much better for you to move on. It's much better for you to take on a different path, especially when it comes to your marriage or especially when it comes to that stagnating relationship. You'll be wishing for more. However, with your ambitiousness, there will be more waste than gain, okay? That instead of you forgiving and trying it all over again, you will decide to take a different path because you're going to think that, oh, okay, you know, maybe who knows that I'll be meeting somebody that's much better. But unfortunately, it's going to take four years for you to find really what is, you know, the right kind of love. Okay, I'm not saying that all Aquarius will be going through with this, but some, okay. And financially, I feel like you need to conserve a little bit of your budget because this is not really the right time for you to splurge, go for shopping, or buy anything that is not really necessary at this point. Work-wise, you will be reflecting upon yourself, even though there will be a lot of achievements, success, recommendations, referrals, and uh, recognition that you're going to be gaining. You feel like there's something more, okay? Something that you feel like is not really there. You feel like something is missing. It, it's like, you know, like there's something that's missing in the picture. Like, it's almost perfect. You know, there's something that you want to add to find, and that is what you're going to be looking for this month of September when it comes to your professional life, okay? You will also be helped out by a fire and a water sign to track down to your new path or journey or assignment or, yeah, something like that, our new area. And you're going to be a little bit uh, generous as well. You will be helping out a pregnant colleague that is already having a hard time with their responsibilities at work and in fact that you're going to be volunteering to take over for them now love life which is i've already told you you're already having a lot of hard times you're trying to hold back hold on let go move on and then hold back again okay it's like damn if you do damn if you don't you want it's like um you want to proceed forgive and try it once again but you know that it's never going to be the same again right after all the things that happen okay you're still considering the fact that there is a possibility but then you're also weighing the options that it will never going to be the same again okay now you will try to go and search for yourself to go and look for whatever that is missing you will be balancing things out you'll be talking to this fire sign and then there will be a lot of things that you will be renewing realizing and reassessing and at the end of this month you will love the decision that you're going to be making whatever it is when it comes to your sex life outdoor experiences you're going to be more active well, for, especially for those who's already married or already in a committed relationship, you will be trying your best. But 
Um, you know, for those who's already been together for like how many years? Like less than 10 years or less than 20 years. It's time for you to go and review those books and manuals. Otherwise, it's also much better for you to go and travel and for you to, you know, for you to go and find something that will both satisfy you. But whatever happens, don't offer any third wheel or third person in their relationship because it's never going to be healthy. Your, your sex life just requires more attention, loving, and passion because both of you are emotionally voided and blocked and you've been denying the hurt, the feelings, and the rejection that you've already incurred for how many years because you're too familiar and, uh, you know, you're too uh, comfortable with each other, all right? Now, when it comes to your health, don't, don't go for like over-the-counter or non-regulated medications, especially if you've been having some problems with your acne or any uh, skin allergies or skin problems. And um, immune system, you need to reignite that. You just go for something natural and organic. Also, you need to detoxify, okay, in order for you to flush all those toxins that's been affecting your your mind and affecting your uh, your body and your blood, you will also get infected by somebody who uh, who has a um, like a present illness or disease, and it could be passed on to whatever you're eating or whatever you're going to be sharing with this person. So be careful with strangers that you hardly know, or that you know that you feel like a little bit different, that there's something wrong with them. You will also start gaining weight. And some Aquarian women will be giving birth to Jury at this time. Let's take a look, singles. What's going to be coming your way this month of September? You need to balance. <laughs> Single Aquarians, it seems like your loneliness and your sadness will finally be putting to an end because this water sign, who is actually your soulmate, will finally be, you know, uh, get reunited with you and the two of you will be... Um, And the two of you will be, um, you know, uh, rearranging things, forgiving about whatever happened in the past. You are the one who's got a lot of issues and baggages from this person. And this person have already forgiven you, asking for your forgiveness, starting all over again, second chance, new opportunity, new beginning. But you're the one who keeps on bringing up the past. It's time for you to live it to the past, okay? A new change, new beginning, abundance, happiness, and possibility of marriage or engagement. That will be happening with this person who's a water sign, okay? Who still loves you with all their heart, and they're also going to be professing their feelings and even, you know, a proposal to marry you. Good for you. Let's take a look at your October forecast. You know, a lot of people are experiencing some depression or feeling down or feeling a little bit frustrated or the things that they wanted to have and do, it's not really coming or working out their way because, you know, this is still the tale of the dog year. 
Now, right after February 5th, that, that is where all the shift and development will, you know, start coming in and will start arising. So just be a little bit more patient. You're not the only one who's going through some depression and feeling so down and delays and blockages. Okay? It will soon pass. And some people are, you know, if you, you will also be noticing that some people will be acting a little bit ridiculous. That is like out of the norm. Now let's take a look. Well, this month of October for you, it seems like, wow, the middle of the month, you're going to be going through a big transition because you will be falling in love again, especially for those who just broke up and got recently divorced or those who are uh, single. Now, for those who's already married or still in a committed relationship, there will be a reigniting of your passion, relationship, marriage, or, you know, affection for each other. Just be very careful not to leave things untold as there will be some secrets that will be revealed by the end of the month and it will just cause more friction, tension, and fire between you and your loved one. Now, you also need to be a little bit more careful in taking some untested medicines or medications or... You know, going over the counter and uh, self-medicating because there is a possibility of you taking the wrong medicine for your, you know, for whatever it is that you're going through uh, physically or medically. Okay. You know, some Aquarians, just be very careful, you know, to be forced in something that you don't want to do. Especially when it comes to sex, or especially when it comes to sexual harassment. Okay, be very careful about that. And you also need to be a little bit more guarded, especially if you are still dating. Um, there will also be some issues about sexual harassment at work, okay? So just be very careful about this, this month of October. Now... Okay, now, now this month of October for you, um, okay, it seems like there will be some obligations or there will be some finances, bills, loans that you need to settle, especially if there has been some problems with the mortgage or uh, reassessing of your, you know, your loans uh, or outstanding debit, sorry, outstanding credits in the bank. You will get, you will get it settled, but I feel like you will be needing some guarantee or guarantor or something like that or protection of uh, other people just to save you up from, uh, you know, being overcharged. And finally, you will be moving from one phase to another, okay? Even though that there will be some financial problems, financial troubles, it's, which is very slight, okay? Very minimal. You will be able to move on from this. You'll be able to resolve this, and there will be good news. Plus, a big transitional phase that you will be going through financially, emotionally, physically, and mentally, okay? Right in the middle of the month, which is, of 
course, you know, when you go for transition, it's only going to be very hard at the beginning because of the adjustment phase. But at the fourth week, you will be enlightened why these things actually happen and why these things took place, you know, in the first place. And you will be very happy because of the decision that you've done, that you have made. And you, you know, it's like for you, this is the best decision that you've already made. Even though you still have feelings for that person, you know, it, it's, it's, it's not going to go away in an overnight. But you know to yourself that you've made the right decision. You've made the, the, the right turn. And with this person that's going to be coming into your life or that is already in your life around this month, this is the perfect moment for you. And this is the one that you've been waiting for, okay, for you to be happy. This is your soulmate. Or this is your twin flame. And this is somebody from the past that you've been trying to avoid for how many years, how many times, how many months, how many days. And you try to cut off this person. You try to marry off somebody. You try to be with someone. But still, you know, right after how many years, that love is still there. When you still feel the pain, when you still feel that, you know, this person is, you know, like, ah, you know this person just broke up with me all of a sudden and uh, cheated on me and stuff like that. If that feeling still there, it means that the love still remains. Okay? Now, work-wise, it seems like you're going to be very busy with this whole new project. And I feel like you will also be transferring to a new department or to a new team. Now let's take a look at your November forecast. Mm. <clears throat> It'll be a little bit nostalgic during this month. But unfortunately, you will be remembering some of the unhappy memories of the past. You need to be careful in listening to this fire sign woman that's been like poisoning your mind. And I don't really feel like the advice of this woman will be helping you out in any way, but no. You need to trust your own judgment and your own instinct. Right. All right. It's like you don't know how to start all over again in love right after what you have gone through. But, you know, you just need to take some baby steps and uh, don't rush into things.
All right. Oops. Um. <clears throat> now you know this whole memories of the past is just getting in the way with your new beginning with your. You know, with this uh, new relationship, or if you're already married and just trying to rebuild your foundations in your relationship again, the things from the past that you just keep on bringing up and um, you just keep on remembering and reminiscing, which is it's not really necessary for you to do. I mean, it's okay for you to recall those sweet memories and happy memories, but you know, all those things that your partner right now did to you in the past it, there's no point okay and this is what's been going on or that this is what's going to happen to you in the month of november that as much as you want to be happy it's like you're so afraid that the past will you know keep on repeating itself again and there will be some times that you feel like you're not really in a safe zone there anymore okay you need to learn how to forgive and forget and don't tar that other people with the same brush okay because not all people are the same and not all people are just out there to hurt you and take advantage of you and victimize you right now there is like a like an influence <clears throat> of a fire sign that you will be listening to which is i feel like it's not really necessary for you to listen to this person as you know that this person have already failed you in a lot of times and in a lot of ways, but then you just keep on listening over and over again, okay? You need to follow your own judgment and your own logical way of thinking or just trust your instinct. Now, when it comes to your work life, <clears throat> you are going to be very happy because finally it's like you're already living um, in excess, okay? I mean... The money that you're that, that you're uh, receiving right now, the salary and everything else, it's purely like just for yourself and uh, you know for everything else. And I feel like um, hmm. I feel like you will be very happy with the new office, department, team. Or, you know, something like that. Or area <clears throat> that you're going to be moving to. And I feel like there will also be some, uh, what do you call this? Like a like a team building or training that your entire company will be going for. And I feel like this is more for the project that you are currently doing and completing. And you just need to... <clears throat> you just need to get along with everyone and this is also to you know to improve and develop your chemistry towards each other because the project that you will be doing in the future it's um, more of it is something to do with putting all of your opinions your focuses and your you know your best that if you're not going to be getting along then obviously the project will be all over the place okay so working as one is very important now when it comes to your love life as i've said you love this person you love this water sign you love this you know this person in your life right now more than anything else but your fear your fear is eating you up it's it's like you are letting this whole thing this whole fear swallow your happiness once again okay not to mention that there are also some other temptations and resources okay this person, this fire sign, the reason why it's giving you out this very unhealthy advice is, is because <clears throat> I don't really feel like this person really wants you to be happy or want to see you happy. But I feel like it's more of jealousy and spiteful. Okay? Now, you need to make your own judgment. Okay? This water sign undoubtedly will not hurt you. But instead, with whatever it is that you're doing, you are the one who's going to end up hurting this person. Now, for those committed and married ones, your new foundation and your new beginning, if you're trying to work out your relationship because of your fears and because of your too much um, analyzing <clears throat> and too much thinking, your relationship will not really go that far, okay? If you will always have this kind of mentality and mindset, all right? So you need to be a little bit more open-minded Fight your fears. You're the only one who can fight it off anyway. Okay? Nothing else. And the world will be your oyster. Okay? Definitely. 
your happiness will be unlimited. Of course, that when you love and you're in a relationship, tears waste more than love and happiness. But that's how you know a relationship is, and that's how life is. Sex. Mm-hmm. Um. It seems like you are, you know, for singles, the one that you're going to, you will find somebody that you can share intense chemistry and connection, okay? And you're going to have like a very ecstatic fireworks and climax. And for those who's already married, uh, you know, there You know, the reason why your sex life is already done, done, and it's already like, you know, RIP is because your partner is doing it with someone. And this is what you're going to be discovering this month. Okay. Um, There are also some gory details that you will find out right by the end of the month. And when it comes to your health, lung problems, um, asthma, eye sensitivity, um, water poisoning or food poisoning. Or bacteria and um, ulcer. I'm not really sure why my guy said this is gingivitis, but okay. It's also probably connected to a to an underlying health problem, immune system, um, getting back on track and um, exercising, plus kidney stones. Be very careful, gallbladder or kidney stones. Okay. Let's take a look, singles. What's going to be coming your way this month of November? All right, singles. Okay. Mm -hmm. You will be juggling between the choice of a younger earth sign and a younger water sign. One is very caring and one is very cut off and dry, but much more financially stable and hardworking. And then the other one is happy go lucky. So, who will be the wiser choice for you? Of course, the one who is more um, hardworking, financially stable, and matured and ready for a relationship. But You will find more chemistry and more connection with the one who is happy-go-lucky and, uh, you know, like, come what may approach in life. And this is a little bit insecure, okay? If you want to have fun, go for the one, go for the other one who is, like, come what may. If you want to have more stability and longevity, go for the one who is more financially stable and um, have more dreams and goals and aspirations in life. Finances, your finances will be built, you know, will be, um... It will it will slowly build up, okay. Um, if you are also thinking of investing in an online business, a small business, bake shop, or like a small food business, this is the perfect timing. Just make sure that you're going to be reading the contract and all the uh, you know all the consequences of it. And December, you're going to be launching your small business. This is the start of it, okay. And you're going to be buying stocks um i feel like you can do that around the end of this month of november all right so let's take a look finally at your december forecast
Hopefully it's going to be a little bit better. Well, it seems like last minute of the month, sorry, last week of the month, there will be some financial increase and financial changes to your status. Or good for you. Success is also going to be coming your way, even though I feel like there will be some on and off. I feel like you won't be able to spend Christmas with your family or with your loved ones or friends because... I feel like you need to work late or overtime. And most of the people in your company or in your uh, in your yeah in your workplace, they're gonna be spending Christmas in the office. Oh, Don't deny your feelings. You know this fire sign is just misleading you. Don't believe this person. And it's time for you to cut off this person as well. Okay? Um, and this fire sign won't really play a very significant part in your life anyway. So it's much better for you to move on. You know, Aquarius, whether you're single or whether you're already taken, <clears throat> there is somebody who will try to seduce you and will try to set you up, okay, just so they can get what they want from you. So be very careful about that. Okay, um, Okay. now finally this month of November, hmm, you will catch someone lying to you and then with a the full trust that you have given to this person, unfortunately, you know, you're going to feel so let down and disappointed again. I feel like the reason why things keep on happening in your life over and over again is because you need to accept this, you know, as part of life's imperfection, part of human nature. Whatever happens, people will lie, cheat, backstab, and discontented, you know, like, um, smile sweetly right in front of you, and when you turn your back, they're just gonna keep on, you know, like, backstabbing you like that. You know, the good news is you will know who this person is and you will definitely cut this person out of your life, okay? And I feel like you will be traveling right in the middle of the month, but then your company or your boss will tell you, nope, you can't because you have to work even on holidays. And it will spark some disagreements with those who's already married and committed and will also have some family gaps for those who's single and who's supposed to come home for holidays. But there will be an increase, an extra pay, reward bonus, and your bonus will also be earlier for 2020, okay? Now, 
be very careful with your files and with the documentations that you have because it seems like someone is trying to set you up and trying to you know expose you be very careful with someone who will try who, who will try and appear like a friend or someone who is like your accomplice okay or someone who is on your side because this person is not um it's not really playing fair okay this person is only wearing a mask and kind of um and I feel like this person is someone who's very close to you as well. So I feel like this is the person that you will be discovering who's lying to you and uh, who's being two-faced. But you know what? It's, you know, I mean, there are still some other valuable people right around your work. And uh, at the end of the day, you're only there to work, not to make friends. Okay? So don't take it too personally. As I've said, even if other people... Well, try to embrace you right in front of you not all of them are happy for your recognition and for your achievement okay at the end of the day you're all competitors for one and the same thing now love you know you don't really need an excess in your life and it's time for you to make your own judgment whether who's the healthy people influence and sources in your life rather than settling for you know whoever that's fakely listening to you now you will find out that this person has been lying to you and you know it will also disappoint you in some ways that this person's in, in, intention is not really that straight clean or not really you know at your best or for your best or for your own sake so you will slowly cut off some unhealthy people some toxic people out of your life and you will just continuously go on look for the guiding light and trust the one who is really very close to your heart or who is really uh, the one who's been gu guiding you and protecting you which is i feel like it is the water sign now Hmm. Now, when it comes to your sex life, be very careful with a coworker who will have like a cruel intention to you or somebody that's close to you. Yeah, well, it can't be a neighbor or it can be like someone else. Okay. And you need to be a little bit more open minded when it comes to new methods and new styles and stuff like that. And. You will be a little bit experimental as well. Hmm. Well, good for you. If you feel like that is what you really needed to ignite your passion and your, you know, your libido again and um, how you used to be before. And I feel like you need to be a little bit more naughty when it comes to bed as well. Okay. Now, health. Um... Skin irritations that's continuously growing, it will be from head to toe. And I feel like you will also be a little bit allergic to metal objects or jewelries. And uh, you will also be feeling a little bit confused, uh, blank, and a little bit disoriented. Oh, and they're forgetful as well. Now, your immune system, it's not really... You know, it's not really doing well. You will have continuously suffer from asthma, bronchitis, or bronchial problems, uh, chest heaviness, sinusitis, rhinitis, cold, flu, fever, and migraine. Um, I also feel like there will be a depression right by the last week of the month, which is, you know, during the holidays. Be very careful with wild animals and with bird droppings as well, okay? And you need to cut off your smoking if you don't want your problems with your lungs to grow worse. Let's take a look, singles, and then I will be pulling out your, you know, your, um, your oracle cards for each month for the entire year. Hmm. 
Okay, the star, six of cups. Uh, you're still caught up with the memories of this person from the past. And you are going to be a little bit remorseful and resentful for all the lies that you have said to this person. Well, could be that because you want to move away from this person or for this person to move away from you, you said a lot of harsh things. But then now you're the one who's very much affected that you want to make it up. You're wishing for things to be the same again or for you to go back to how it used to be or for you, for this person to freely forgive you because you can't move on. You feel so stuck in this situation, in this relationship, and you feel like you deserve to have another, um, you deserve to have another chance, all right? <clears throat> there will be some communications which is you're the one who will be initiating but it will end up in a bit of an argument so be very careful with your temper you want to make it up for this person try to be a little bit more humble and patient I also feel like you're going to be caught up in your job or in your workplace or I feel like you're going to be feeling stuck if, you would, if you're going for a long driving Expect that your vehicle will be tilting or will be stuck in right in the middle of nowhere. So make sure that you will have a backup. Okay? Be very careful with road accidents as well. So, finally, let's pull out for your 12 Oracle cards for this year. And I'll be using the Earth Wisdom Oracle Cards. Clear Aura, Awareness, Joy. Okay. Wow. Okay, clear aura. You need to for the for the month of January. It's going to be clear aura. You need to change the bad energy. Okay, you need to change something in yourself, like change your hair color, hairdo. Um, you know, if you can go for some facial feng shui, if you want, it is much better. But there is definitely something that you need to change in order for you to create the changes or manifest the changes that you want to have in your life. And it's time for you to step out of the old way of thinking or habits. February, awareness. There are some things, like for example, you know, the people around you that will be like, um, they're smiling in front of you. And then later on, when you turn your backs, like, you know, they're going to be backstabbing you like that. So it's time for you to raise some awareness. Who are the people that can be trusted and who are the people that cannot be trusted? March, joy. There will be some bliss that despite of all the strife, difficulties, and strikes that, you are going to, that you're going to be going through, the hurricane and the tornado, okay, that you're going to be coming out from, it, you will finally see the sun. Month of April, use your animal totem. Use your, you know, your instinct. And I feel like you also need to... Have some spiritual guidance as to where your life should go. Month of May, divine light. Follow the sign and follow the stars and follow where your where the universe will be taking you. Stop resisting the change. Month of June, boundaries. You need to draw some. You need to draw the line and boundaries with the people who's already overstepping your your boundary, and uh, you know they're kind of going overboard as well, especially family members. Month of July, creativity. It's time for you to unleash that artistic side of you and creative flair. Month of August, shadow treasures. There are some things from the past that, you know, the reason why they are there is because it is not meant to be in your present and future. But don't dwell too much on it, okay? You need to find the goodness in life and in that person and always look at the brighter side of life instead of wallowing whatever the, whatever this pill. September, clarity. You will find some clarity in a situation, someone, relationship, work, money, and whatever it is that you're kind of a little bit confused and oblivious about. 
it you will it will happen this month of september october practical intuition you need to use your gut instinct okay instead of listening to other influences and resources month of november divine love this is where the true love will start blossoming and budding and will be sticking around your life for good month of december heart healing you will learn how to forgive move on move forward progress and toss around the bad and keep the good all right so anyway that's it for you for this year of 2019 thank you so much for being patient please don't forget to subscribe share and um yeah share my videos and please download the app from cheetah mobile it's called daily horoscope you can find the um you know you can find the the, the link at the description box below and it's available in android and um, apple play store okay so if you want to have your own personal and annual forecast just go and visit me at my website at sophiaangel.net all right blessings to you and now you may watch my youtube videos inside the app of daily horoscope by cheetah mobile you know the good thing about this app is that it's not just all about horoscope okay you may also ask your burning question especially if you can't wait for a psychic to talk to and this is a very quick and concise in-depth explanations that will just give you all the information that you really need to know about your love life your money and finances plus your health and right after browsing all the meetings you know choosing all the cards you may go and browse for more like the advanced forecast for tomorrow weekly monthly and yearly now there are also some other areas in this app that you may find very useful and informative like their relationship articles and other you know um things about the zodiac signs and if you're also dating go and check out your match with their featured tab and choose your sign and then the sign of the person that you're dating plus their personalities you know make it work last long and you know or it's is it just much better to cut it off you may also check out their chinese signs and don't forget to get their birth their birth year as well all right for more compatibilities so for more information check out the description box below it's available in google play and apple play store